chapter 2, text number 13. Deo, Deo, Asmi, Asmi, Page number, give them page number. Deo, Asmi, Deo, Asmi, Page number 88. Give me one. The second chapter is a summary study of the Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> the first chapter is a preparatory study of Bhagavad Gita, and the second chapter is the summary study of the contents of Bhagavad Gita. <coughs> Bhagavad Gita means the song sung by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Bhagavad, from the uh, word Hmm. Bhagavad, uh, we speak Bhagavan. So Bhagavan, here in the Bhagavad Gita, you'll find <coughs> everywhere, see Bhagavan Ubaj. So, uh, it is the science of understanding God. Jat vijnana samanita. Jnanam te prabhakshami jad vijnana samanita. It is a vijnana. Vijnana means science. As everything is understood thoroughly through a scientific process, similarly, if you want to know the science of God, then you have to adopt the process by which one can understand God. That process is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Bhaktya mama vijanati. Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he says, <coughs> if anyone wants to understand me, then he has to take the process of devotional service, not by the speculative process or by fruitive activities or by yogic process, mystic yogic process. It is clearly stated, <coughs> not only in Bhagavad-gītā, in all other Vedic scripture, Athapite deva padambujadnayam 
प्रसाद लेशानुगृहत ही जानाति तत्व भगवान महिम न न चार न एकोपी चिरंग विचिन्न वन कैन अंडरस्टैंड द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड एट बाय हिज मार्सी ओनली अथापि ते देव पदाबुज प्रसाद लेशानुगृहत एनी वन हु हेज रिसीव ए स्मॉल पार्टिकल ऑफ द प्रसाद ऑफ मार्सी ऑफ द लॉर्ड ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड द लॉर्ड नो बडी कैन अंडरस्टैंड द लॉ परफेक्टली इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज द लॉर्ड इज अनलिमिटेड वी हैव गॉट आवर सेंसेस वेरी लिमिटेड आवर सेंसेस आर not only limited but also imperfect we commit illusion we try to cheat so many defects are there therefore simply by exercising our senses it is not possible to understand god <coughs> oh so to know god god is very good god is great that is another thing the science of god just like bhagavad gita by studying bhagavad gita we know not only god is great but we see what kind of god he is what is his form sachidananda vigraha we have heard in the shastras that ishara parama krishna sachidananda vigraha अनादिरादि गोविंद सर्व कारण कारण नाव दैट ईश्वर सच्चिदानंद विग्रह हाउ ही एपियर्स सच्चिदानंद विग्रह दोज आर प्रेजेंट अफकोर्स दे सच्चिदानंद विग्रह बट बिकॉज नॉट ऑल ऑफ देम where devotees they could not understand krishna as the supreme personality of god obhajananti mang mudha manusim tanumasitam because he appeared <coughs> just like a human being so mudhas mudhas means less intelligent or in plain word asses Mura means ass. So this class of men could not understand Krishna that he is the supreme personality of God. <coughs> that is the defect of the Muras. They may be very great scholar, <coughs> academic scholar, but in the matter of understanding God, they are Muras, asses. Why, Maya, Abhita, Gyana, Asuri, Bhavama, Sita. Uh, at the present moment, people are mostly Asuri, Bhavama, Sita. Asuri, Asuri, Bhav means to defy God. There is no God. God is dead. I am God. You are God. So many ah, gods are loitering in the street. Why you are finding out God? These are so many statements. The God has become so cheap. There are so many incarnations of God, <coughs> uh, especially in India. It is a breeding ground of gods. so many uh, uh, so that is means they do not know what is god mudha they think god is so cheap thing but from this shastra we understand from bhagavad gita we understand when krishna was asked by arjuna uh, 
how you are controlling the whole cosmology, your vibhuti, your power, energy. So Krishna explained, and at last he concluded, atabhāvaunaitena kīngyatena tavārjuna viṣṭyabhya aham idam kṛṣṇaṁ kṛṣṇaṁ ekāṁ sena sthitu yava. The whole cosmology, material world, is just uh, sustained by my partial manifestation of energy. Ekāṁsa. <coughs> this material cosmology, man, material manifestation, is one-fourth demonstration of God's energy. Uh, the threefold manifestation of His energy is the spiritual world. Parastasmatubhavanya bhaktya bhaktya sanatha. There is another nature which is spiritual nature, para, superior. The spiritual nature is described as para. Para means beyond this opera. There are two energies working material nature and spiritual nature. Material nature is described in the Bhagavad Gita, bhumi rāpanalo bāyu khaṅgamana buddhiriva. Bhinna me prakriti astadhā. These eight types of material nature, earth, water, fire, air, sky, mind, intelligence, and ego, these are material nature. Bhinna prakriti astadhā. They are separated energies. Aparayam itasthu vidhi me prakitiṁ parā. Beyond this, these are inferior, apara. And beyond this apara prakriti, there is another superior prakriti. What is that? Jīva bhūta mahābāho jayidam jādati jagat. That is the living entity. The living entity, living being, is energy of the Supreme Lord. Oh. Energy, just like the sun and the sun sign. Sun sign is the energy of the sun glow. Similarly, we living entities, we are also energies of the Supreme Lord. What is the sun sign? It is a combination of a very small shining particles, molecular. That is sun sign. Uh, <clears throat> it looks like one homogeneous thing, but they are small particles. That is scientific understanding. Similarly, we are also a small particle of the Supreme Law. Mamai Vāṅsa Jīva We are a small particle. How much small? What is the magnitude? That is also described in this asa. Kesāgra satabhāgasya satadhā kalpita sacha jīva bhāga sabhīgyaya sa anantāya kalpata. There is dimension of the living entity one ten thousand part of the tip of the hair. Oh. So it is very difficult. With our this material eyes, we are very much proud of our eyes. But here is the indication from the Shastra, the length and breadth of the living soul. Now you find out with your eyes, your microscope. Oh. Oh, that is not possible. Because they cannot find out, they say nirākār. Nirākār, in one sense, it can be supported that we cannot ascertain the forms of the soul. And what, how we can ascertain the form of the Lord. Anoraniyāṁ amahato mahiyāṁ. So, Spiritual education means, spiritual enlightenment, 
First of all, we must try to understand the jiva, because jiva is the small particle of the law, uh, so that we can understand the quality of the law. Just like if you taste a small particle of gold, then you can understand the composition of gold. If you taste a little drop of water from the ocean, you can analyze the chemical composition of the sea. Similarly, if you can analyze the characteristics of the living entity, then you can at least understand what is God, what is the characteristics of God. Therefore, the beginning of spiritual education is to understand oneself, the self-realization. How to realize self? We have to take knowledge from others. Knowledge means to acquire knowledge, to learn from the teacher. So here is the supreme teacher, Krishna. Uh, <coughs> Krishna is accepted as the supreme teacher by everyone, uh, by all the great sages, formerly like Vyasadeva, Narod, Divala, Sita, uh, all other great sages. And recently, in the modern age, by our acharyas, Sri Ramanucharya, Madhyacharya, Ramanuja, yeah, Sankaracharya, Vishnu Shami, oh, all these great sages, great acharyas, they came from your South India. So you are fortunate in that sense. So we have to follow the acharyas. All these acharyas accept Krishna, the Supreme Lord. All these acharyas. And later, lately, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, 500 years ago, he also accepted the Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Krishna Sthu Bhagavan Sam. That is the acceptance in the Srimad Bhagavata. Uh, similarly, Lord Brahma also accepted Krishna, Ishara Parama Krishna, Satchidananda Vigraha. Anadi Radhi Govinda Sarva Karana Kara. So we have got so many evidences. <coughs> uh, we have to accept Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. There is no doubt about it. But why people do not accept? Why are uh, so many big, big scholars and big, big scientists, why they do not accept? Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. That is also stated in the Bhagavad-gītā, how these people do not accept. Uh, the statement is there, namāga duskitana mūrhā prapadyante narādhama māyaya apadhita jñāna āsuri bhāvamāsi. Uh, those who are duskritina, sinful, uh, Duskriti now. Kriti means meritorious. And du means, uh, means uh, miscreants. Meritorious for mischief making. We everyone has got merit. The mischief maker, he has also got merit. But uh, one who uses his merit for mischief making, just like a great rogue, a thief, uh, when he steals, he requires brain. So he is applying his brain how to steal uh, tactfully, how to become a great rogue tactfully, how to become a smuggler. They require also brain. So the brain is being misused for mischievous activities. They are called miscreants, duskritino. So those who are duskriti na, namang prapadyant, namang duskriti na mura. One class is duskriti na, and the other class is mura. Mura means less intelligence or no intelligence. 
नमांग दुष्कृत न मूढ़ा प्रबंधनते नराधमा एंड नराधमा मीन्स द लोएस्ट ऑफ द मैन कार्ड एंड माया अपृतक ज्ञाना दोज हुज नॉलेज हैव बीन टेकन बाई माया आसुरी भाव वासुदा दीज क्लासेस आर मैन Do not surrender unto Krishna. <coughs> We are not manufacturing these words. These words are in the Bhagavad Gita. If we study Bhagavad Gita, we have to accept these statements. Bhagavad Gita. Bhagavad Gita means the speeches which is delivered, or the song which is sung by the supreme personality of God. Uh. So. Our Krishna consciousness movement is to preach all over the world that Krishna is the Bhagavan Swam. You are searching after God. You are taxing your brain so much, but in spite of taxing your brain, you say sometimes that there is no God, or God is dead, or everyone is God, and so on, so on. But Our proposition is that why you are taxing your brain? Here is God. Here is God, Krishna. Ah, uh, by authorities, by Vedic version, by his activities. Ah, uh, if we read life of Krishna, we can see that he is Krishna, God, from the very beginning of his birth. God is not manufactured by some mystic power. God is God. A dog is dog. Ah, a dog cannot become God. God cannot become dog. That is the difference. Ah, so Krishna was God from the very beginning. Ah, as soon as Krishna took birth, ah, he appeared in four-handed Vishnu Murti. Uh, but when he was prayed by his mother to become an ordinary child, he became an ordinary child with two hands. So that is God from the very beginning. Not that by attaining some mystic power one can become God. Uh, you can have some power. Godly, you have already power because we are every one of us. Is the part and parcel of God. Therefore, godly qualities are there. But you cannot become cent per cent God. That is not possible. Uh, that is not possible. Uh, they, they, they have been analyzed. All the demigods and living entities, they have been analyzed by great stalwart people, and it has been found. That Krishna is cent per cent God. Krishna is the Bhagavan Swam. Iti changshakala pungsha. Krishna is the Bhagavan Swam. All others, ah, there are many other gods. Then gods means not the supreme God. Ishara Parama Krishna. We are speaking of the Parama Ishara or Parameshara. There are two words. Ishara. Parameshara, Atma, Paramatma. That Param uh, is God. We are Brahma, Parabrahma. Uh, so Parabrahma, Paramatma, Parameshara, all these are applicable to Krishna. Just like Arjun, after hearing Bhagavad Gita, he admitted, Parabrahma, Parang Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhava. Purusham sasatam adyam. That is the position of Krishna. Adi purusham. Govindam adi purusham. Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, "Aham adirhi devanam, devanam, Brahma Vishnu Mahesha." Uh, then after Brahma Vishnu Mahesha, there are other demigods, Indra, Chandra, Varuna, so many. So Krishna says, "Aham adirhi devanam, aham sarvasa prabhava." He is the origin of everything. 
अहं सर्वस्व प्रभव मत सर्व प्रवर्तते एवरीथिंग इमेनेट्स फ्रॉम मी इन द वेदांत सूत्र आल्सो द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ इज डिस्क्राइब एज जन्माद दस जता द एब्सोल्यूट ट्रूथ इज दैट फ्रॉम होम एवरीथिंग इमेनेट्स सो हियर इज कृष्णा from sastric evidences ah by his opulences by his power because bhagwan means full of six opulences ah oi sajjasya samagrasya bijasya jasasya suya ah he must be the richest he must be the strongest he must be the most famous he must be the most beautiful he must be the great renouncer in this way that is the definition of god ah uh, so that definition is confirmed by lord brahma ishara parama krishna ishara means controller controller unless one is powerful uh, how he can control so every one of us is little small controller somebody controls in his office somebody controls in his family life somebody controls a few factories there are controller but nobody can say that i am the supreme controller that is not possible the supreme controller is krishna so this krishna consciousness moment means we are trying to link up our connection with the supreme control uh, we do not wish to become the controller we want to be controlled but by the supreme controller not by others uh, that is our proposition uh, just like generally one who is in service he hankers after government service because it is natural conclusion that if i have to serve somebody why a petty merchant why not take government service so that is our proposition that we have to serve we we cannot do but serve any one of us that is our constitutional position any one of us we are sitting here we are servant ah uh, every one of us is servant So our proposition is that you are servant in any case. Why why not become servant of God? That is our proposition. That is Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, so kama dinang kuti dhana kuti dha palita dunni desa. Uh, we are servant of our senses. Kam krodh lo moh masajya. All this. by dictated by our lusty desires we do anything which is abominable teshan kuti dhana kuti dha palita dunni desha ah so we are servant everyone ah therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu says jiber swarup hoy nitya krishna dar our real constitutional position is that we are eternal servant of god Krishna, that is our position. But in this material condition of life, every one of us trying to become the master. That is the struggle for existence. Everyone is trying. I shall become the master. I shall become the supreme. Uh, but our position is servant. Uh, so this is called illusion. I am not master. I am servant. but i am trying to become master artificially that is struggle for existence uh, and mukti means liberation means when you give up this wrong idea that i am master and try to become the servant of the supreme that is called liberation liberation does not mean that after liberation we will have uh, a big gigantic form of or so many hands so many legs liberation means to become liberated from the wrong consciousness that is liberation 
The wrong consciousness is that I am a must. So we have to change this consciousness. That is Krishna consciousness movement. Uh, one has to understand thoroughly that he is not master, he is servant. Uh, he is completely dependent on the Supreme Will. Uh, if we do not uh, uh, surrender unto the Supreme Will, then we have to surrender unto the will of Maya. Uh, we have to remain a servant. If we do reject service or servitude of the Supreme Lord, then we have to become the servant of the senses. That is Maya. Actually, that is going on. Uh, the whole world is serving different types of senses. Senses are one, the same, but they have got different desires. So they are servant of different desires. Uh, now, the Krishna consciousness movement is, it is not manufactured by us, if we get it from Bhagavad Gita, Sarva Dharman Paritajya Mami Kang Saranang Krishna says that you give up all these nonsense desires, you surrender unto me. That is the whole purpose of Bhagavad Gita. We are dictated by different types of desires, which is dictated by Maya, and we want to become master falsely. Uh, this is called illusion. This is called Maya. Actually, you are not master. Eh? How we can become master? Because we may be very scientifically advanced. We may manufacture very wonderful machine and weapons. But after all, we are subjected to the rules of Maya. Janma mittu jarabhyadhi dukho dosha anudarsana. Uh, you cannot get out of these four principles of Maya's machinery. Janma mittu jarabhyadhi. Therefore, uh, the same man who is actually learning, he surrenders to Krishna. Bhavnam janvanam ante gyanavan maha prabhadya. Actually, when one becomes wise, he surrenders to Krishna. Gyanavan maha prabhadya. Uh, otherwise, who is Krishna? I am as good as Krishna. I am God. Oh, that is Maya. That is not actually knowledge. Uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, it is said that uh, vimukta manina. They are thinking that they have become liberated, become Narayan or God. Uh, manina. They are thinking like that. Actually, they are not. Because they are subjected to the rules of the material nature. They cannot get out of these clutches. And who can get out of these clutches? Mameva prapadanti. Krishna says, anyone who surrenders unto me, Daivijji Sagunamai Mama Maya Durattaya, Mameva prapadanti, Maya Me Tang So therefore, this Krishna consciousness movement is very uh, pious moment, the, the most glorious welfare activities. And we are preaching this moment all over the world just to place Krishna. Our only ambition is that to place Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. That is our proposition. We don't want to become Krishna, but we want to become the most obedient servant of Krishna. That is our provision. Uh, so uh, we invite everyone from all parts of the world, and they are coming, they are joining. So in India, Krishna appeared. India has got special advantage to understand Krishna, and the India has neglected. That is a great misfortune. But we request everyone to join this movement, study the philosophy, and become happy. That is our proposition. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.
ਦੀ ਆਤਮਾ ਦੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਪਰਸਤ ਦੀ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਲੈ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਲਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਸ ਕੰਟਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਇਸ ਪ੍ਰੀਤੀ ਦਾ ਹਾਊ ਇਸ ਕੈਪਿਸ਼ ਦੀ ਆਤਮਾ ਐਂਡ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਇਸ ਬੋਥ ਵਨ ਵਨ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਕੋ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਆਤਮਾ ਇਸ ਬਾਹਰ ਦੇ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਐਂਡ ਬੰਦੇ ਇਸ ਨੂੰ ਕੋ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਆਤਮਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਸ ਦੇ and pranama is different because this only the contradiction in the understanding equals and it is just the comedy to better it to accept what the vedas say and what the bhagavad gita say is there a difference between the vedas and bhagavad gita other we follow the vedas or we follow the bhagavad gita because the bhagavad gita is the only song of the lord krishna the vedas are the pure knowledge of from god so why you are going out you hear you hear vedas the as the bhagavad gita it is said vedaishta sarvai aham eva vedya all the vedas and vedantas they are meant for understanding krishna he by studying vedas and vedanta you cannot understand krishna then it is samaye eva hi kevalam it is simply labor that is the adjustment of bhagavad gita and all other vedic literature vedas means veda means knowledge and anta means ultimate that is called vedant the ultimate knowledge is to know god ah you may not accept krishna although all the acharyas have already mentioned this even sankara acharya he also accept krishna sab bhagwan sayam krishna so the ramanu acharya madha acharya they all accepted krishna the ultimate uh, knowledge of vedic understanding uh, many acharyas they have written notes on vedanta targeting krishna as the supreme personality of god so we have to follow the footprints of the great stalwart acharyas acharya upasan mahajana jena gatasya pantha if we follow the footprints of the acharyas they will find there is no distinction between vedanta and bhagavad gita Vedanta, you might be referring to the Vedanta Sutra of Sankara Acharya, but all the Acharyas they have written notes on Vedanta. Simad Bhagavatam is the original comment on Vedanta. Simad Bhagavatam begins with the Vedanta Sutra, Janmadasya Jataha. So Vedanta does not mean. the godlessness vedanta means to know god that is real study of vedanta you want to know what is the difference between paramatma and atma paramatma and atma it is not very difficult to know just like you are father and you have got many children at home so eh they because they are children they are uh, i mean it says ingredients you and your children are the same but still you are superior and the children are, are dependent your children are not different from you but still you are superior and they are inferior or junior so qualitatively one but quantitatively different so quantitatively different atma parmatma and qualitatively one atma is spirit parmatma is spirit it is called achinta veda vet tat simultaneously one and different one in quality different in quantity you can create you are also qualitatively one with god you have got creative power just like we are creating 
this uh, flying machine, a Sputnik, uh, that is also flying in the sky. And the Paramatma has created the millions of planets floating in the sky. So you have got the creative power, but you cannot create like that Paramatma. That is the difference. Can you? My question was very simple. Yes. The answer is also very simple. Paramatma is great. You are small. That's all. The Atma, Atma, yes. The the and that I will explain. In quality you are one. Because a particle of gold is also gold. But the gold mind is not equal to the gold earring. That is mistake. Not the one is great, another is small. That is the difference. Quality is the same. Quality same. Quantity different. But the Atma which is functioning in the body. Yes. Is according to the Paramatma or is entirely different from the Paramatma? According to the Paramatma. Every our action is according to the Paramatma. Yes. Huh? Yeah. But you should remember that you are in quality, Paramatma. So Paramatma has got supreme independence. You have got little independence also. You, when you misuse that mis- little independence, you create havoc. Who is the responsible for the creation of this? Who is the responsible for the creation of this? Well, responsible is just like. The father creates children, but he becomes a thief. Does it, does it mean the father is responsible? What is your idea? Huh? Father creates children, but a child becomes a rogue. Does it mean the father creates a rogue? That is, that is the Karanam guna saṅgaśya sadasat janma yonis. You are independent. You can associate with different qualities of nature, and then your character is for That is your independence. Your God's instruction is sarva dharma anparitaja mame You do not abide by that. You create your own independence. Therefore, you suffer. Father says, "My dear boy, do like this. You'll be happy." But he does in a different way. Who is responsible? The father or the son? If you if you work according to the instruction of God, then you'll be happy. That is our proposition. Just like if you water on the leaf and if you water on the root, which is better? That's it. But if you water the leaf, means you waste your time. Because by watering the leaf you cannot make the tree living. Similarly, this Shastra says that water on the root, jatha taron mula nise chanena, tippanti taskanda bhujopa sakha. If you water the root, automatically the branches, the twigs, the leaves, they become invigorated. But if you water the leaf, you simply you think that you are doing service, but you are doing nothing. Chant Hare Krishna. <laughs>